new videos every day. Life, wisdom, psyche truth, massage. All right, well, hello, I'm Melissa Lemonian, and I am here to show you some partner reflexology. This is my partner, Jen Hillman, who you guys know already. Um, so, Jen, do you like feet? Are you weirded out by feet at all? <laughs> no, I'm cool with feet. Yeah? I wonder if our audience is cool with feet. I don't know. We, we were discussing this earlier. <laughs> and um, personally, as a reflexologist, I encounter people's feet issues. It's really interesting to see how many people are weirded out by feet, their own feet or others. And so, I don't know. I wonder, we're, we're curious. Let us know if you think you'll go ahead and try this at home or, you know, with a partner. So please grab a partner and let's follow along. Okay, Jen. So what's going on with your body? Do you have anything that's bugging you right now? Um, I have a little bit of pain going on in my middle back on the left side. Okay. Um, kind of my shoulders, of course, Your shoulder? I'm a massage therapist, so my okay. shoulders get real tight from work. Shoulders and arms, I but bet. Other than that, I feel pretty good. All right. Well, okay, so what I'm going to show you guys today is I'll do a little bit of specific stuff for Jen's um, mid-back and her shoulder. And then we'll also do, I think we'll just do a general relaxation thing. And then I'll show you as I go along her foot where the specific body parts correlate. So that say if your partner is having PMS or low back pain or indigestion or neck or sinus issues, you'll know where to start. Okay, so as always, I like to start, we'll start with a quick warm up and just um, kind of rub the ankle. You know, flat the foot and using the heel of the hand, you're pressing in to this part of the ankle. Um, and so it's really important, Jen and I, you know, we're filming today, so this isn't, you know, real life or anything, but when you're doing this with your partner, make sure that you are seated comfortably with back support. You, I imagine you concur, because we've been sitting here for a while. All right, all right, so we've wiggled the ankles around a little bit, and so now, it's a little hard to do it in this position, but um, just kind of, we're gonna just twist a little bit. Excellent. And so the whole point, you know, before you work out, you warm up the muscles. Before we do any kind of deeper work on the foot, it's just nice to kind of say, hello, foot, and um, warm the tissue up and get the blood flowing a little bit. All right. So I like to start from the bottom up. So, um, since you're sitting with your partner, you know, it's just gonna, it's gonna be a little bit, maybe not funky, a tiny bit more awkward than if I had someone on a table and, you know, the perfect body mechanics. So, you just kind of work with what makes your hands feel good. And so, Jen's gonna kind of do whatever she wants, and I'm gonna work my way up the inside of the arch of the foot. And I'll spend a little bit of extra time right here. So the arch of the foot is the spine. You have um, sacrum, low back, thoracic, all the way up into the cervicals at the neck. And so this is the head and this is the chest. So if she's having mid back, it's going to be this area right here. And I can, you know, I can feel some tension in here. You know, it feels like you might have popped a rib out of place or something down there. <laughs> I'm cheating, she, she told me that it rubs out. <laughs> so. Um, feels like there's a little knot on your foot too. Oh yeah, I have, I have, I have some tension in my mid back for sure. It's always been there. You know, always, but. I think that's also a spleen, a spleen pressure point. Um, and so, Probably the main thing to do with, you know, just a basic relaxation reflexology treatment is to just press the whole foot. So using your thumb like this, or, you know, I really like, you know, to, if, if, if your wrist is comfortable, if your wrist is comfortable, you know, you can kind of like spider walk your, your fingertips along like that, you know, just um, make sure you get as much of the foot as possible. And 
so in order to make sure that I'm getting as much as the foot, I'm going to be going like this, up in lines. You know, five toes, so it's pretty easy to make a grid out of this. Um, I'll probably come back to right over here in a little bit. So because this is the left foot, I'm going to get to be able to work on Jen's heart reflex point, which is right in here, um, I think which will help give you a little bit more energy as you go on to film videos for us for the rest of the day. And so the reason we're doing this kind of funky crab leg thing is we were thinking that this would be something that you could do at home with your partner, your roommate, a friend, while you're watching a movie or a television show. And you know, it's, it's, just, it's more natural, right, to, for, there, for there to be an exchange. And so instead of like, hey, will you rub my feet? Or, you know, hey, I just want to rub your feet. Um, you know, even if you're offering, it might be kind of uncomfortable for that person to receive without exchanging anything in return. And um, it's in school, uh, we learned about, you know, in order for true healing to take place, there needs to be an exchange of energy. Um, one doctor would, who worked with children, you know, while he had the parents, you know, still pay him or do insurance or whatever, he would have the parent ask the child to bring in a favorite toy to give him before he would treat them. And that, because that invested the child in their healing experience. And you're uh, more likely to take a doctor's advice or take your medicine if you know you had to pay something to get it. If you know if, if their treatment has value to it. So, and then there's just the simple fact that you know I'm getting something, Jen's getting something, and we're getting to have a wonderful experience together. So a really important area to kind of address with people is right along, right along the ball of the foot. This reflects to the diaphragm. So this has to do with breathing or the lack thereof. And you know, you can really help somebody out with who's feeling stressed out to kind of work this area. Um, this helps with energy as well. So that's, that'll be my other kind of focus with this treatment is helping Jen have a little bit more energy because she forgot her coffee this morning. <laughs> Wait, no, you, you don't normally drink coffee though. Normally I don't, but I was thinking today might be a good day, <laughs> but I didn't do it. So <laughs> I'm oh, no. still thinking about my bed a little bit. <laughs> oh, my bed was really comfortable this morning. Yeah. It's it hard like... to get up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Okay, so if you see this hand right here, I'm kind of rolling over her upper arch. This is going to connect with her back. And then, let's see, I don't really, I don't want to do too much work with her toes down like this, but the top part of the foot also is going to be upper back, and especially ribs in case there's something still out. And so it's important to go gently, oh whoops, no, it's not really awkward. Um, I'm gonna go gently between the toe bones. Um, this also is the where all the lymph, the lymph where the lymph system is like your secondary circulatory system, and that is what's responsible for cleaning out the interstitial fluid, which is the non-red blood cell part of your blood, and is one of the main parts of your immune system. So. This is always nice to help people detoxify a little bit more. You know, this also would reflect to pec muscles, you know, your chest muscles, which I imagine, Jen, you probably work pretty hard as a massage therapist. Yeah. yeah. And as a yoga teacher. Oh, you teach yoga. Nice. What kind of yoga do you teach? <laughs> I, mean, I, haven't, I know. I haven't seen your videos. I'm sure they all know, but I don't. Um, all sorts of yoga? I, a really tricky question. I don't teach any particular kind of yoga. I don't subscribe to one lineage. Oh, personally. wow. Nice. No dogma for you. 
I like to try it all. Nice. <laughs> what, what you're doing feels so good and awesome. Okay, you can't see here. Let me see. I'm rubbing this line right here between the bone right here and her heel. It reflects to her um, knee, knee and thigh. And there's also gonna be some hip stuff as well, so. Ah, I can feel a little crunchy right in here. And it just feels great. Like this, this part of the foot often has a lot of tension in it just from, you know, walking around and standing and. That's a tender spot. Oh yeah, okay. So it's also really important with partners, you know, so Jen, you want me to go, is my, is my pressure okay? Can I go a little deeper? I want me to go slower? It's deep enough. It's, deep it's enough. just that that little spot right there is just kind of a trigger point. It's okay. pretty tender. Okay. Hmm. So it's important to focus on your partner and you know, maybe not entirely focus if you're doing this while you're watching TV, but enough to not mindful touch, you know, can, can be painful or uncomfortable. And I probably went a little bit deeper into what I know is usually a tender area um, than I would have normally because, you know, I'm talking and there's lights and a camera person and everything. Ah. So let me see. I'm gonna kind of roll, you know, firm grip on her big toe. I can kind of roll her foot onto my finger kind of offer a little bit more support. Oh. It's also kind of hard to focus when what she's doing feels so amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's the tricky part about giving and receiving at the same time. Mm -hmm. It's like, wait, what was I doing? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's, there can be lots of tension on the outside edge of the foot just from standing and existing. So Jen, do you, um, when you see clients, do you, do you spend time on the feet or how do you incorporate feet work into your massages? Oh, I definitely spend time on, I mean, if it's a full body massage, feet are definitely included. Mm -hmm. So. I incorporate some reflexology sometimes if I feel like it's appropriate. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I do just more of a relaxing foot massage mm -hmm. just because it feels so good so, to just have your feet massage. Yeah. Reflexology can be a little intense sometimes when mm -hmm. you're really going in and targeting those tension points. So right. I'm not always wanting to take my client to that place. No, like you gotta, sometimes you, gotta you relax. want to keep them in that really relaxed yeah. space, so I just use a nice relaxing foot massage that's not really reflexology at all. Okay. And there's other times when reflexology seems really appropriate, like I could really help someone with their issues by accessing those points in their feet. Nice. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that... <laughs> People come to me for the more intense stuff, but they really like the, the smooth out oil afterwards. Yeah. All right, so what I'm doing right here with my thumb is I'm walking along her shoulder line. Um, this is gonna also reflect to sinuses as well, but really this is, I'm just gonna, I don't know, but like this is her trapezius. This is like those tense shoulder muscles, or I guess like, you know, on her right, on her right, but it would be this side of her shoulder. So, you could probably even, you know, if I found a really specifically tender spot, I could go draw a line up her body to her traps and go like, oh, well, there's that knot, you know, you can feel that in your foot. Um, oh, sorry, need some coffee too. <laughs> so, for, let's see, like, common issues, like, say, like, low back pain, and PMS, like so low back, you would do stuff right here. Um, any kind of uh, glandular reproductive stuff, PMS, you would work on the ankles right here. Not if a woman's pregnant, do not touch the ankles at all if someone's pregnant. Um, any kind of digestion stuff, you wanna work from the middle of the foot down. 
This is going to be the intestines. And then on the left foot you have stomach, spleen, pancreas over here, heart and lungs, and then shoulders, especially right here. So Jen, you had some shoulder stuff, so let me, let me get in there. And then neck, 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 and then your brain on each of your little toe pads. So because Jen wants a little bit more energy, I'm gonna work on her, on her brain. I'm literally squishing your head right now. <laughs> I'm squishing your head too. Yay! Ah, <laughs> oh, I approve. Ah, mm. oh. oh, sorry. So I guess. I guess basic, some basic etiquette before you give someone a foot rub would be to wash your feet and have them wash their feet. And then make sure your nails are nice and trimmed. Or if you don't want to trim your nails, just, you know, obviously don't stab them with your nails. Don't do that. Don't know. People don't like yeah. it. I imagine someone might, <laughs> but probably most people, that's just a big no-no. Huh. All right. Okay, as I'm wrapping up, I'm going to kind of just using my whole using my whole hands, I'm gonna just kind of press over the whole foot. And you know, Jen, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. And you would be sure to like this video, um, favorite it if you can, and leave a comment letting me know if you like feet. Again, I'm Melissa Lemonian, and if you want more information about health and reflexology in particular, my website is sensibletoolbox.com.